everybody, it's Lori with All the Pretty Things. I apologize, I couldn't go live after all today, but I will be going live on the 19th for sure. Um, I believe Fairy Vixen's going to join me, and I still need to get a hold of Roberta and see if she wants to join us. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I've missed all of you a ton. And I will be coming back slowly. Um, right now, I will do a live auction once a month. Um, right, and this pop-up is just me getting back into the, the feel of it again. And, <laughs> you know, it's been a, it's been a little bit, uh, and I missed you all. Um, I'm so excited to be back, but let's get started. I know I feel like I'm forgetting something cause I had planned on, you know, going live and I was going to talk about several things, but ah, my computer's giving me a hard time. I forgot to plug it in you guys. So it's my fault. <laughs> Oh, anyway, what I, number one I have here, and don't mind my nails, I did not have a chance, and I didn't want to uh, film me either, because I didn't have a chance for that either, to fix, <laughs> fix myself up, anyway, okay, so we've got several butterfly brooches, including the dish, I'll show you the dish, it's really pretty, I use these for my beads when I'm making something, I haven't in a while, but it's a nice little dish. It probably could use a little cleaning. But we have, I think it's um, one, two, three, four, five, six brooches. And it is number one. It'll be $20. Um, this is a signed piece. I think Lori had this on her um, sale just recently, or somebody did. I've seen it somewhere. And it's an, a signed Avon piece. It's vintage. It's an excellent shape. At least I think it's Avon. Yes. It's like someone never even wore it. But it's got blue stones, uh, fake pearls, and clear stones, and then these uh, red, I don't know what that is, but I think it's like acrylic. And Ellie says hi. There's one. I will be, I haven't, this stuff has been sitting in a drawer for a while, so I'm going to need to clean some of these pieces before I ship them out. Um, here's a gorgeous butterfly pin, brooch, and it is marked too, and I'm sorry I cannot read it. Not without my readers, and I don't have any handy, I don't think. Oh, I do. I'll get back to you on that one, though. No, Ellie, you can't come up here. Let me see. Um, well, <clears throat> no, I cannot read it. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> and then we have this one. Isn't that pretty? It's my favorite one of this style that I've seen yet. Um, let's see. This is an old one, too, and I think it's Avon as well. Yes. Oh, sorry for all the glare, you guys. Isn't that pretty? And then here's another. I like the polka dots. And then here's one with rhinestones. Oops, this is like a, what Vixen calls a lingerie pin. And it's old. I don't know how old, but it's old. It's not signed. So that's number one, and it is $20. And you just need to put down in the comments um, that you're interested in it. Okay, now we have some natural stones. And this little dish goes comes with this one, too. There's two lots like that that have the dish. I just thought it would be fun to add it to it. And this is going to be a total of $22. This is a rose quartz bracelet. This is a larger size bracelet. Like, it would fit eight and a half and above comfortably, or an eight. But it's really pretty. Feels good. Um, this is a gorgeous. It's got the um, hang tag of a heart. So I don't know who makes that. But this is beautiful. It's got all kinds of pretty stones. Cornelian. Adventuring. Glass beads. Uh, metal beads. 
and it's two strands. And I only have one hand, so I can't get that untangled. <laughs> then we have a vintage. I don't know if this is sterling. It looks sterling, but I don't know. I haven't tested it. And I do not know what the stone is. But that will go with it. This is a cabochon labradorite. It's got some flash, but not a ton. As you can see, you can see it. But it's a cool stone to practice with. Let's see if I can find any more flash. Yeah, there's some flash. This is well worth $22, you guys. And then just a little, you could wire wrap this rose quartz. Um, this is just, I have several of these, and I kind of throw them in my stone lots every once in a while, but it's an agate stone bead. It's really cool. Just a chain on that would look cool, I think, but that's just me. Amethyst. I don't believe that to be sterling, but it could be. Not tested. But it's a nice little pendant. And then these three are all drilled. Uh, so you just, you can um, put a chain through there. Adventuring rose quartz, which this one is so pretty. Look at all the striping in that. I don't know what it's called, you guys. Are the stone queens out there, not me. I just have always loved them. And then a tiger's eye. And I think this is a gorgeous tiger's eye. So this is number two, $22, and the dish comes with it. Okay, let's see. Number three is $15. It is two, it's one wrap bracelet that is 20 inches long. <coughs> and then the brand Lucky Brand, that is eight inches long. And the reason why I'm giving these up is because they don't fit me. I just got this one from Laura not too long ago. And I'm asking 15 for the two of them. But it's so cute. Look at the butterfly. Uh, navy blue and an aqua blue or green. Then, you know, Lucky has the designs on the back as well. It's really pretty. I love Lucky Brand. And every time I have a Lucky Brand bracelet, I have to sell it because it doesn't fit me. Every time. There's the Lucky Brand. And then I believe I got this one from Jen Layton a while back. It's been a while since I've been in any of your guys' auctions. I miss you all. I have lurked here and there, just so you know. And I've always, th I go and thumbs up everybody anyway. I just haven't come in the chats or anything lately. It's just so hard to window shop. I'm not one of those girls. I like to buy. <laughs> I just haven't been able to. Okay, that's number three. Two bracelets, $15. Okay, number four is another one of my very favorite brands, and I love this necklace. <clears throat> but I'm going to share it with someone else because I have not wore it yet. So I figure if someone else will wear it, I should share it. Marcosites. And then the Rivoli crystal eyes, or maybe not Marcon sites. Those are little diamond chips or, you know, CZs or whatever. There's the back of it. This is so cute. I did not do the measurements, you guys, but I'm pretty sure it's 18 inches, if not longer. It's hard to do that with one hand. And my actual hand is falling asleep right now. But there's the tag. Oops. They always have a key and something else on there. And a lock, but I believe fossils here. Yeah, fossil silver tone, nice chain, very nice. And that's number four, and it's twenty dollars. Okay, where's my number five? Well, we'll just do this ring. This ring is a six and a half, it's sterling silver, it's brand new. I bought this from Age Goodness, Angela. It is a ring with lions on it, all the way around the band. I'm asking $18 for this, and that is number five. Isn't that cool? 
And again, it's a six and a half, $18. That's a good deal. Okay. I think I'm stop counting because I don't have any more wrote down that I, <laughs> I'm actually missing a couple things here. So I might pass on a couple items. Here, we'll do this uh, designer brand bracelet. Her name is Paige Wallace. It is a designer piece. Her pieces go for a lot. This is eight inches long. That's the only reason why I'm giving it up. Too big for me. Um, let me show you. It is sterling. Uh, turquoise and coral. It is pretty cool. I wish this... This is so me right here. But... It has to go. But that says designer. And then... Paige Wallace and this is $25 and you can just say Paige Wallace in the <clears throat> comments if you're interested in this one $25 it's a really good deal okay here's a mystic topaz vintage ring um, it does not have a stamp on it or it does dang I keep saying stuff that isn't true it is it says Sarah on the inside, but this is not a Sarah Coventry. It also is stamped 925. It could be a Sarah Coventry, but it's just Sarah. But it's a Mystic Topaz, sterling silver, size four and a half, tiny. See, there's where the marking is. Too small for me. And that's why she's going. I can wear five, but I'm really pushing it on a four and a half. Look at that. Is that not cool? It could use a cleaning. I'm asking $25 for this. You just put Mystic Topaz. Okay. Let's see. Here's another ring. This is a nine and a half. It's got a blue stone. I'm not sure if it is <clears throat> um, sapphire. Oh, there's too much glare for me to get up close. But it is sterling silver. There's 95, nine and a half, and I'm asking $25 for that. It's a little, it needs to be cleaned. So you can just put blue stone in the comments. That's $25. Here's another ring. It is a seven and a half. It is crystal and CZs. I'm asking $28 for this gorgeous ring. It is gorgeous. Look at that. And then the CZs on the side. That is so pretty. A seven and a half. And I'm asking $28. And you can just put crystal ring. Let's see. I have a sterling silver bangle. Or I mean a cuff. It is. You can move this easily to fit any size. See. And it doesn't hurt it at all. There's the mark. Um, I lost my sheet on this one. But this will fit any size. It's sterling silver, of course. It kind of looks like a Wonder Woman cuff, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to ask $22 for that. I think I had $30 on it. But this will be the still of the deal. Or deal, you know what I mean. This will be a good deal. So $22 for this sterling silver cuff. I just put the cuff in the comments. Oh, yeah. I found my piece of paper. <laughs> but 22 is cool. That'll be the deal of the night. All right. I have an angel collar pendant. And you stone hounds out there know what this stone is, but I do not. These are sterling. Look at that bezel. It's really pretty. Hold on. Well, anyway, this stone has a lot of, like, glittery quartz in it. I don't know what that spot is on the back. I actually never wore this. I was going to, just never did. And then I've got this one. This is almost a full inch angel collar. Even the angel is sterling. 
with Rame. Ah, come on. I want to ring, call some angels. Isn't that beautiful? And for the two of these, I'm asking $28 for both of them. And that's a good deal. Because this right here is super heavy. No, I did not weigh it. But it's super heavy. And it's, like I said, it's almost a full inch. So it's quite large. And that's, the, I've been wanting one of these. I actually still want to buy one of these. So anybody out there that has one that's smaller, I definitely am interested. Um, this was on my list. And when I found it, I was so excited, but it's just too big for me. It's very large. Okay, so angel color and pendant. You can put in the comments, $28. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have two necklaces, and I think that's it. And I think I hear my husband pulling in, so he's going to be loud. Okay, I'm not sure if these are, are carnelian or what. But they are cold. They are stone. They are perfect. They're super clean. Um, there's no maker's mark on these that I saw. They, are, I believe, to be sterling, but I did not test it. But I'm asking twenty dollars. This is seventeen inches, and you can just put orange necklace. Twenty dollars. Okay, and then the last and final one is one of my favorites. It is... A, hi, honey, I'm on. Um, I'm recording. Okay, this is 20 inches. I'm asking $20 for this. These are just regular beads, I think. I don't believe, believe them to be turquoise. I do believe this could be, but I'm not 100. It, it does feel a little plasticky, but... I'm not sure. All I know is it's gorgeous. And this is real shell or angel coral. I'm not sure. But this is probably fake. It doesn't feel right, to be honest. But anyway, I am asking $20. It is 20 inches long. And then it's got these silver. And again, I didn't test it. I, I'm pretty sure that's silver, though. All right, you guys, I will be seeing you again very soon. <clears throat> Me and Vixen will definitely be on on the 19th, and hopefully Roberta can join us like the old times. I will, we'll stare at my uh, stone collection while I'm talking. I will be putting this up for sale, maybe. I haven't decided. <laughs> I might be repurposing them. But anyway, um, like I said, I will be doing at least one auction a month. Um, I may do a pop-up here and there. I may do, um, oh, I do know what I wanted to tell you. I have like seven large boxes full of jewelry. Um, they've already been picked through many, many times and I have forgotten what's in there. Um, so what I might be doing is doing some recorded videos showing what, and then just saying, and if you're interested in anything in there, including craft, just put it in the comments, kind of like Fairy Vixen does and other people. Um, but I may be doing that. Let me know what you think of that. I have several large boxes just full. And it's mostly craft, I think. Um, but I know I started to go through a couple of them the other day. Um, and there's several wearable, sellable pieces in all the boxes. Like I have them all organized. All necklaces are in one box. All bracelets, all earrings and Oh, Lordy, the earrings. I will be wanting to sell bags, large bags full of uh, wearable, sellable, and singles, and vintage. So let me know if you guys are in interested in that. And you guys stay blessed, and I will see you again soon. And thank you for coming over and checking out my video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. All right, you guys, stay blessed. Love you.